hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to learn about in-app notification within model driven apps we are going to learn how we can enable the in-app notification feature how we can send the notifications into the your model driven app and how to leverage how to create the notification via power automate and as well as we are going to learn how is in-app notification different from push notifications so what is in-app notification so developers actually can configure notification to be displayed within the model driven app in the active app so this model driven app automatically pulls the pulls for the new notification and show them over here in this notification section when i click on it it will show all the notification related to this app whatever we are going to configure or create via power automate and we can take the respective action for example viewing record and post viewing we can update or modify or whatever you wish to do so this is called in app notifications and how is it different from push notification so push notification is generally for sending the notification when the person is not actively using the, your app and it's more or less like it's more dependent on the provider so it can rely on the push notification services provided by operating system like apple push or notification service for ios and they require the side component to set the manage the notification which could be power automate or you are doing it with the other way so it's it's far different from the in-app notification in the in-app notification actually it runs in the contextual of that within app so model driven notifications are delivered within the application itself and they are typically used to provide the context specific information related to what update has happened somebody has updated that data so this is the major difference between the push notification and in-app notification so now let's get to the actual development of the notification how we can enable the notification and then how we can create the notifications so right now this is my one model driven app so this connected this having one database table uh, product ideas if i wish to enable the notifications for it then i have to added this app into my power app studio and for that you can actually very well start using the make.powerapps.com and we'll just actually create a new model driven app so that we can take a look so i'll just go to create and I'll choose blank app based on data was table and I'll just name that as notification or because it's a product idea related product idea notification demo and we'll create it so we'll start by adding one page and that is data was table and we'll just add our product idea table and show that into navigation as well so now we have to enable the notification for this app for that you have to go to the settings on the left side top corner go to features and you can search for notification and it will give you that option you can enable this and save it so this model driven app is configured to receive the in-app notification now so now the next part comes where we are going to create the notifications using power automate for this app so right now i just save and publish it so that our settings can be published and i'll just play it for a while and when i click on new it should give me the form to update it so right now we are good and we have started looking at this icon but right now is nothing there because these are old record i'll just dismiss it and we are clearing this off now we are going to create a one quick power automate and that power automate will create the notifications into notification table into dataverse and that when it should trigger it should trigger when a new record is created added into this dataverse table so we'll just start using make.powerautomate.com and we will create an instant cloud flow and we'll name that as notification for product ideas and in the trigger we'll choose dataverse when record is added or deleted let's choose this one and over here we'll 
choose the change type as added when the record is added and the table name is product ideas we'll search our table and scope we'll just keep it for everyone so as an organization scope and in next step we are going to add a notification item to notification data was table so we'll just say add a new row we'll choose a table name which is notification so notification is a system table where all the notifications can reside and based on the polling mechanism our app would poll to the notification list and whom this notification is assigned will be retrieved and showcased at the notification center so you can title of the notification you can very well write that uh, new idea and body in the body we can say a full body about the our about the notification so new idea and idea name so idea name would be fetched from the I, the previous added record is submitted for your review let's say in data we'll talk about this data in a while because when we want to construct some custom url to be opened then we have to leverage this data i am just skipping right now this ex expiry how much after how much second the notification should expire so by default is 14 days after 14 days notification gets clear so you can customize or have this notification based on your requirement in the icon type we have few icon types like custom failure info mention so these are uh, default uh, icon type is given and the one icon starts showing up in front of your notification so let's say i'll just select info and then we comes to the owner so whom this notification should be shown so over here so we have to use system users and the guid of that user so in guid guid is coordinator is our person and we'll just pick that from the guid of the user coordinator value and close that basis so this notification would be for this coordinated user will be shown to this user only then we have other priority then record the time zone so we are skipping that for now and we'll just save our notification so that we can see whether we started not receiving notification or not so i'm just saving it and then we'll just create one new record as we have added the trigger as new record added so i'll just create a new idea and we'll just put up some description and coordinator i'll choose my this account as coordinator so that i can see the notification over here so i'll just say save and close and we'll wait for our power automate to trigger and we'll just go back and look at the status so it ran successfully and we are expecting one alert or notification so just now we got this notification new idea a new idea ai is submitted for your review so we got our notification so we have option to dismiss in everything in one shot or clear the individual notification by using cross button so till now we have achieve this notification part and now the other thing how i can add the actionable link or button so that something can happen on this notification i can take take action to update it to approve it reject it whatever so let's do that so i'll just modify the same power automate to have the custom data included and which will have the link information or the data information so what i'll do i'll just go to this data and we have to start writing our json because this data supports the json which has the action as an url and we have to build that url dynamically so i have written that json partly for us so if you like look at here so we have this json as link and in dictionary we have actions and action has the title view record and data does have the property of url so this url we have to construct if you look at the url we have this main.aspx is our model driven main page then page type equal to entity record we want to look at that directly at the record 
and the entity name this is the entity name for our product ideas and then id of that specific record which we wish to look at so i'm just going to copy this entire json i will put that into description as well so that you can directly construct for you and we'll put that into one of the data operation action of parse json so let's just quickly add one data operation parse json and in this in content i'll just put up the content which i've copied so this action and this is the later part of id we are going to build this part as dynamic one so that we have the actual id of the record which is added just now so i'll just go to this and we'll find the choose product ideas as unit identifier and in schema i'll just copy everything and then paste it generate from sample so that we can just generate the schema out of it and in the next step i am going to in the data i am going to use the link which we created which we have in our previous session and provide it over here so i am going to save it and now we are going to again test it we are going to create one more record into our product idea and we'll just add one record new idea of one and description and coordinator i can choose myself and save and close we'll just wait for our trigger our workflow to trigger so it triggered and we'll just go to our notification area to see whether we have received it or not so just now we received this notification and we have this view record as a link which we created and when we click on this link i am expecting my this record directly to get open so it opened my new this record in a new window where i can update the values or if we have other actions and that person can do the actions so we have achieved to have to have the notification with the view record with the button actionable button so that's how we can create the in-app notification for any of our model driven app so the advantage does it give that is these notification are pretty often contextual so if a person is running uh, your model driven app then also that person would able to receive this notification without opening up the uh, model driven app again and it's tied up with the event monitoring system which actually keeps on polling for the new notification from your notification data was stable so kind of very effective when you are writing when a lot of interaction is happening for your model driven app so i think that's it for today's video if you have any question please feel free to drop your comment i would try to answer thank you